Hi, I'm Karen Hurd, and I'm here with our next edition of Asking for a Friend. And uh, this is a really a great question and timely for the new year. Karen, I really want to set my team up for success in 2020. What advice do you have for getting my team off to a fast start? And uh, if you've been following me, you know I have lots of advice, but I thought that this time it would be fun to uh, call a friend. So I've asked Ed Crow, who has a really great book that's just about to release in January called Strategic HR, Driving Bottom Line Results Through Your People. And so, Ed, could you join me in answering this uh, asking for a friend question? Yeah, absolutely, Karen. Thanks for having me. So when I think about teams and, and how you get people off to a good start, one of the things that, that I think about is, is figuring out their motivation. You know, so much gets time gets spent on looking at how to get people to work together instead of why people work together. And, and I believe that that comes back to ownership of the shared goals of the team. And so for a, a supervisor who either has a dysfunctional team currently or maybe has a team that, that's well on its way to becoming high performing, I think both of those come back to talking with their team members to find out if they're bought into the goals and why, and if not, why, and start from there. And, and then I think you know, the next point is, how do we reward them for hitting their goals? So often when I, I, I talk with business executives, they're missing the, the point that when they're asking people to work towards a goal that's going to improve the business, whatever way we're rewarding them has to tie back to the behaviors they exhibited. And so, I like to paint that picture right up front and, and get that frontline supervisor or manager to say, all right, team, if we hit these goals, here's what's in it for all of us. Uh, that's so good. You know, one of the things that I find when we're uh, dealing with teams that are in distress is that they all have goals, but the goals are not aligned amongst the team. Yeah, right. And so everybody's working to achieve the goals, but there's so much conflict because the, they're not um, figuring out how those goals are interrelated. So I, I think that's really critical too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, certainly there are situations, even amongst the team, where there will be individual goals. We just need to make sure they're not in conflict with the team goals. And if folks are, are confused about which goals to hit, they have to be given the guidance over, okay, does the team goal come first or does the individual goal come first? And again, that comes back to their individual supervisor or manager setting those clear expectations. Yeah, absolutely agree. One good conversation about expectations prevents 14 why didn't you conversations. So, <laughs> you <know it. laughs> great. I think that's great advice, Ed. I'm excited to uh, see uh, your new book and get that into the hands of folks. And thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, it's my pleasure, Karen. Great to, to be on your show.